Polymer Vision is, uh, is focused on a, a new technology which is based on organic semiconductors. So organic semiconductors allow us to process materials at very low temperature and therefore on very thin substrates. And what we've done is we've adapted this technology to the display industry which allows us to create ultra thin, even rollable displays. Uh, they can roll into devices such as this, as I have here, where we open it up, we have a 5 inch diagonal display, very, very thin and rollable back into the device. With normal display technologies, this would only have a 2 inch display, absolutely no bigger than that. This is actually quite a paper-like uh, display. It has uh, very, very low power, so 10 to 30x lower than normal, and readable under normal sunlight conditions. These are major advantages over current uh, display technologies. It is in fact ideal for text-based content, so that is the, the primary target area for the first generation. However, we do see that it is also uh, highly suitable for simple graphics and even GPS applications. Philips have been working on organic electronics for 10 to 20 years. And in the last four years, what Polymer Vision has done is it adapted this technology for the first time to displays. Now this year, we've taken it a whole step further by integrating the technology for the first time into a fully functional mobile device. And this is a concept device called Aridius. So already in the second half of this year, 2005, the first prototypes will be available for uh, evaluation and we expect to introduce the product to the market at the end of 2006. So given the major advantages of our technology in having a large display in a small device and low power and readability, this is all about mobility. It's all about allowing people to access data and information while on the move, while traveling, while on vacation, while indoors, outdoors. In other words, being able to access your information Screen, any place and video any speeds and increase in the, the display size and still keep it compact in a small mobile device and at very low power.